What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Adidas Harden Volume 5 Future Natural Basketball Shoe. If you want to try your own pair of the James Harden 5 shoes, I recommend shopping at THE Volleyball Shoe Headquarters All Volleyball. Use my discount code and link below to get 5% off your entire purchase, which includes volleyball shoes, balls, jerseys, training equipment, bags, and much more. Now let's see what this shoe looks like straight out of the box. My first impressions is that the shoe is larger than previous Hardens with a wider base and stiffer insole. The shoe also took a little longer to break in compared to previous Harden shoes. The design is very different and does reflect the future natural name with an outer space feel with organic shapes. There are these bubble-like cushions where the ankle sits, which I'm assuming is to provide more freedom for your ankle to move while still having some type of support. The outer is made of a textured tarp-like material that encases a slightly softer material beneath it. Even though the weight is on the heavier side, I believe that most of the weight is actually in the sole of the shoe, so it will feel a little lighter on the top. The insole is very stiff and flat, which is actually the first time I've experienced a shoe like this. Usually, most athletic shoes will try to match the contour of a typical foot to make it feel more comfortable and supported, such as being slightly higher in the middle of the insole for arch support. But the insole was flat all the way across, almost like I was barefoot. Even though the sole is on the thicker side, it's definitely a lot stiffer, so you really felt the floor with every movement. The heel-toe transition during my two-foot jump didn't feel as smooth due to the rigid sole. Another downside of having a stiffer sole is that the shock absorption is not that great, so I felt more force when I landed from jumping. This was a surprise to me because Adidas shoes with boost technology usually have great shock absorption, but I didn't really feel that in this shoe. In terms of floor movements, they felt pretty responsive and it was easier to make quick movements, change direction, and pretty much move where I wanted to move. This is pretty typical with shoes with a stiffer insole, which are not ideal for max jumping, but great for floor movements that require a lot of agility, quick changes of direction, and defensive movements. The shoe also felt very stable, partially because the base is so wide, but also because the insole is very flat. Sometimes when you change direction really hard, you can feel your foot almost slide slightly beyond the edge of the sole, which is pretty scary because you feel like you're about to roll your ankle. But the Harden 5s kept my foot locked into place and I never had that sensation where the foot was sliding beyond the edge of the sole. The traction is decent, but it will slip on very dusty floors. I personally prefer stickier shoes. I did appreciate the larger toe box, which allows your toes to spread naturally without feeling scrunched inside the shoe, which is typical of most basketball and volleyball shoes. Overall, I'm personally not a fan of the Harden Volume 5 shoe. It just felt too bulky and uncomfortable for me because the insole was way too stiff for my taste and it even left some rub marks on my feet where a blister was about to form which I have not experienced that in a long time. But maybe that's because my foot is so used to wearing shoes with a contoured insole. Also, the nature of my position in volleyball requires a lot of max jumping, which this shoe was not built for because I did feel more impact every time it landed. I personally prefer shoes with a softer and fitted upper, lighter weight, and more flexible. Now, if you're a defensive player that doesn't jump a lot and wants to feel more connected with the ground, or a middle that needs a very durable and stable shoe for quick lateral movements and fast jumping, but not necessarily max jumping all the time, this might be a good shoe to consider. Also, if you like a stiffer feel with a flatter insole, 
so your foot can just do its thing without having to mess with any odd contours, then this is the shoe for you. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below whether you prefer a softer, flexible fit or a stiffer fitting shoe and why. Make sure you check out my shoe review playlist linked below where I review other basketball and volleyball shoes and subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell for more shoe review videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.